Leadership. You know, we all require a leader in our lives. There's always somebody who, are a father, president, pope, you know, there's leadership. And, and in, unfortunately, in some lives, there's a lack of leadership. There's a void of leadership. And so there's a drifting, you know, and, uh, and somebody is going to try to fill that void. You know, somebody, not always for noble purposes, is going to try to step in and say, I'll lead, you know. And, and I'm thinking about St. Louis, King of France today. And I'm thinking about one of the great gifts that he left the, the world is a letter that he wrote to his son. And he wrote this letter to his son, encouraging his son to be virtuous, encouraging his son to know the scriptures, encourages his son to be generous, encouraging his son to be self-controlled and chaste, encouraging his son to recognize all the many privileges that he had been given, and with those privileges came great, great responsibilities. And, you know, that sense of of leadership and passing leadership on to others, right? To who, recognize who do you follow? Who are you a disciple of? Who do you look to for leadership? And who looks to you? And what, what are we called to? We called to love the Lord our God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. To love our neighbor as ourself. How do you love? The simple, the simplest definition of to love is to will the good of the other. To will, that means to consciously choose that which is good for another person. Which sets us up with the next, next question, what's good? which is, brings me to another place. I was listening to Bishop Barron a few weeks ago talk about one of the challenges of the modern culture. The modern culture, people have exalted the self. They've exalted the self that the self, me, me, individually, I define all truth, right? I define what I even define my gender. I get to define everything. I am the arbiter of all that is good, right? That's, from, that's kind of modern culture sickness. Well, how do I love you if you're the arbiter of all that is good? And that could change tomorrow, right? You'll change your mind whether you're a cat or a dog or a male or a female or whatever it is that you decide that you want it to be today. How do I love you in that? Do you understand what I'm saying? I, don't, I hope you're following me. We're drifting. We're drifting. We need leadership, don't we? You know, and I think about we live in Bay St. Louis. We have St. Louis Bay out here. We have St. Louis, King of France. You know, we have the saints, don't we? We have our Lord, don't we? We have this, these great gifts. How, what is the first, that, what do we owe people? To love them. How do we love them? We desire what is good for them. What's good for them? You know, we know it's not to pretend like they're a cat when they're a human being, okay? That's not good for them. It's not to pretend like they're male when they're female. That's not good for people. To love the Lord our God first with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. 
to love our neighbor as ourself, to seek authentic leadership in Christ, in the saints, in the sacred scriptures, to, to have ears and minds opened to the wisdom of God and to love God with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love our neighbor as we love ourselves.